here in the i button and the description box below you will get complete playlist of differential equation of higher order with constant coefficients welcome to video number 22 and in this video we are going to solve second problem on the topic that is Cauchy's linear equation okay very 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 important problem so before I start this video I would request you to subscribe to my channel and if you learn something from my videos then please hit the like button and do share the playlist of this chapter with your friends by doing this you are helping me okay so let us start solving this very important problem but uh, before solving this I would like to show you that is under this topic that is Cauchy's homogeneous linear equation we are going to solve these four problems okay video number 21 22 23 and 24 and after solving these four problems okay you are you are in a condition to solve any of the problems okay here in the i button if you go you will find from video number 21 to 24 i have solved these four problems okay all the four problems are very 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 important okay and again you can see here we have x square x square x x x square x square x x okay x cube x cube x square x square x cube x cube x square x square x x okay so by this way only you can understand that this question belongs to Cauchy's homogeneous linear equation okay so let us start solving this second problem coming to the problem the question says solve x square d square y upon dx square plus x dy upon dx plus y equals to log x into sine log x okay this log x is in multiplication with this but this log x is in the angle of sine okay so from here you can see x square x square x x okay so this question belongs to Cauchy's homogeneous linear equation so in such type of problem to solve such type of problem what you need to do is simply put x equals to e to power t okay simply put x equals to e to power t if you apply log on both sides you will get log x equals to t okay the base is e remember that here the base is e okay so <clears throat> if you put x equals to e to power t and applying log you will get log x equals to t okay and we need to replace this okay that is x dy upon dx with dy where capital D is d upon dt okay similarly x square d square y upon dx square is replaced with d into d minus y into y okay d minus 1 into y okay so on uh, writing this okay the, this equation will become like this okay that is d into d minus 1 into y plus here we have d into y and here we have y okay if you take y common this is going to be d into d minus 1 plus d plus 1 into y equals to this log x what is log x that is t and what is log of sine of log x log x is what t so this will become sine t okay so here you can see this will become the right hand side will become t into sine t which is a function of t okay so if you rearrange this okay if you open this bracket you will get d square minus d plus t plus 1 into y equals to t into sine t dt gets cancelled what is left is d square plus 1 into y equals to t into sine t now after writing this equation in symbolic form what we can do is simply find the auxiliary equation okay so to find auxiliary equation what we do is simply equate the coefficient of y that is d square plus 1 to 0 but instead of writing d i am writing m okay so m plus m square plus 1 equal to 0 if you take this plus 1 here this will become m square equals to minus 1 if you take this square here this will become plus minus of root of minus 1 and we know that the root of minus 1 is what i so m equals to plus minus of i okay so after solving this auxiliary equation we can say the roots are imaginary okay the roots are imaginary so what is the uh, what is the formula for the complementary function when the roots are imaginary let us see yes here we have the formula for imaginary roots when the roots are imaginary let's say m equals to alpha plus minus i beta in that case cf that is complementary function becomes e to power alpha x c1 cos beta x plus c2 sin beta x okay alpha plus minus i beta okay e to power alpha x c1 cos beta x plus c2 sin beta x now if you compare this with this okay you will see that is the alpha part is zero okay this means zero plus minus i okay and the coefficient of i is what one okay so we can say that is cf equals to c1 cos t plus c2 sin t okay this is the complementary function for this equation okay now after this we need to find pi also okay so pi means one upon this part okay that is coefficient of i that is d square plus one into this part okay that is function of t 
that is t into sin t okay again you can see here we have multiplication form okay multiplication form then how to solve such type of uh, particular integral let us see yes here you can see when x equals to e to the power ax into v where v may be any function okay yes whenever you have multiplication form one has to be exponential okay one has to be exponential then here we have t and sin t okay but sin t can be written as okay here you can see what is e to the power i t that is cos t plus i sin t okay e to the power i t means equals to cos t plus i sin t so we can say sin t is the imaginary part of e to the power i t okay so because we are here we have algebraic as well as trigonometric function okay in multiplication form but whenever you have two functions okay yes two functions multiplication form in that condition one has to be exponential okay one has to be exponential form so instead of writing sin t we can write sin t is a imaginary part okay here we can see sin t is the imaginary part of e to the power i t okay had this been cos t then we would have written like uh, real part of e to the power i t but here we have sin t so we are writing imaginary part of e to the power i t okay so what to do in such type of cases okay that is 1 upon function of d okay into e to the power ax into v okay first of all we will solve we will solve for exponential part okay how to solve for exponential part in such type of uh, uh, problem the, simply write d plus a instead of writing d okay in place of d we will write d plus a and what is a that is coefficient of this x in the exponential part okay yes this is what we are going to do in the same okay here if you see here we have uh, 1 upon d square plus 1 here we have sin t as imaginary part of e to the power i t into t okay first of all we'll solve for this part because this contains exponential part okay so writing this imaginary part of e to the power i t 1 upon instead of writing d we will write d plus a what is a that is uh, coefficient of th this t okay okay but here a is equals to i so instead of writing d we will write d plus i okay but here we have d square so here we have d plus i whole square okay don't forget to write this one here okay into t because after solving this we will go for algebraic part okay now you can open this by by the formula that is a plus b whole square okay so imagine part of e to the power i t is here okay one upon d square plus two i d plus i square plus one into t now i square value is how much minus one and here we have plus one so both gets cancelled okay so after this we will have imaginary part of e to the power i t into one upon okay we can we, here you can see we have algebraic part so we need to write this in increasing power of d that is two i d plus d square okay now we can take common that is two i d okay so imaginary part of e to the power i t okay if you take two i d common from here that is one upon two i d what is left that is one okay plus d square upon 2id here okay into t now very 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 important part of this video okay coming to the very important part of this video here you can see i is in the denominator part okay so we need to remove this to remove this what we can do is simply write this positive as minus of minus 1 okay we can write this positive as minus of minus 1 as we know that is minus 1 is what i square okay so we can write this as minus of i square okay so here you can see this is as it is in uh, imagine part of e to the power i t into 1 upon 2 i d is as it is 1 upon 1 okay now this positive is replaced with minus of i square minus of i square d square upon 2 i d into t others are same okay so yes this gets cancelled okay now we can take this in the numerator part okay if you take this in numerator part what will happen that is 1 minus 1 minus i d square okay yes this d will also get cancelled 1 minus i d upon 2 okay power minus 1 okay if you take this in the numerator part the power will become minus 1 into t okay so we have this that is imagine part of e to the power i t into 1 upon 2 i d into this part will become 1 minus i d upon 2 power minus 1 into t okay now if you treat this as capital d then we need to apply this formula that is 1 minus d power minus 1 okay the formula is 1 plus d 
plus d square plus d cube plus dot 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 okay here you can see the power of t is what one so we are going to take up to these two terms okay rest we can say plus dot 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 okay because if you find the second derivative for this t okay it will become zero so writing up to this imagine part of e to power t into 1 upon 2 ideas as it is now we can expand this by the using this formula 1 plus okay 1 plus what is d that is id upon 2 id upon 2 plus dot 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 okay and simply write here t okay imagine part of e to power t into 1 upon 2 id if you multiply t with 1 you will get t here we have plus i upon 2 as it is differentiation of t okay that is 1 so this will be i upon 2 as it is now what we can do is yes imagine part of e to power t is as it is 1 upon 2 i is as it is now here we have 1 upon d also 1 upon d means integration d means differentiation 1 upon d means integration now we need to integrate this part with respect to t okay yes so integrating t plus i upon 2 okay with respect to t so this is very 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 simple part imagine part of e to power t into 1 upon 2i okay in my integration of t will become t square upon 2 plus i upon 2 into t okay now again you can take this 1 upon 2i inside of this bracket what you will get imagine a part of e to power it if you take this here this will become t square upon 2 into 2 that is 4 plus i okay again if you multiply this with this you will get i t okay into 2 into 2 that is 4 i okay now yes imagine the part of e to power it yes here you can see again we have i in the denominator part so what we can do is yes instead of writing here we have coefficient of t square as 1 okay instead of writing 1 we can write minus of i square okay instead of writing 1 we can write minus of i square because i square value is how much minus 1 minus 1 into minus will become min 1 okay minus 1 into minus will become 1 so instead of writing this one here we can write that is minus of i square why i am writing this because here we have i in the denominator part okay and we need to remove this i okay and here i i gets cancelled so what is left is t upon 4 now imagine part of e to power it will become here you can see yes writing this in the first term that is t upon 4 and this will become minus of i t square upon 4 okay as it is now what is e to power it yes what is e to power it that is imagine part of what is e to the power it that is cos t plus i sin t okay into this part that is t upon 4 minus i t square upon 4 now we can multiply both the okay if you open this bracket you can simply multiply that is imagine part of this into this okay this into this this into this this into this you will get four terms okay that is t upon 4 cos t plus i sin t into t square upon 4 plus i t upon 4 sin t minus i square t square upon 4 sin t okay now in the next step okay what we can do is simply rearrange this that is imagine part of it is t upon 4 into cos t is as it is okay minus i t to power 2 upon 4 into cos t as it is plus i t upon 4 into sin t is as it is what is i square that is minus 1 so minus minus will become positive t square upon 4 into sin t okay now we need to write the imaginary part only okay imaginary part is this and this okay yes so we will write pi okay pi equals to imagine the part of this which is this part with this negative sign and this part okay that is minus of t square upon 4 into cos t okay plus t upon 4 into sin t this is the value for pi so finally we can say the complete solution of this equation is y equals to cf plus pi and what is the value of cf that is c1 cos t plus c2 sin t okay simply write this here that is c1 cos t plus c2 sin t okay and what is the value of pi that is these two terms okay now we can replace yes here you can see we can replace t with log x okay and okay so if you replace t with log x you will get c1 cos log x plus c2 sin log x minus yes what you see that is log x so 1 upon 4 t square that is log x square cos t that is cos of log x okay plus t upon 4 that is 1 upon 4 log x into sin t that is sin log x and this is what this is the final answer okay thank you thank you so much